Well, the night of December 30th, 2014, we had a pretty good windstorm. We're in Saratoga now, and this fir tree fell down. It completely uprooted. Amazingly, there's very little damage. The tree fell in about the most perfect spot it could have fallen. And it's kind of a double trunk tree. So looking at the base of this tree, what I'm looking for is any evidence of decay. There is some white stranding in through here. There is some brown rot in through here. Um, one thing that's interesting to know about the Douglas fir is its native habitat is not down in the lowlands. It belongs up in the forest. And it's also a type of tree that is typically a single trunk tree. And here we have, have two trunks that were growing side to side. So that was part of the problem. But I, I think that because they grow so unusual down in the, when I say the lowlands, I mean brought down into the valley, they grow unusual, um, as in much too large. Instead of it being a tall, single trunk, they oftentimes become big, wide masses. And if you look at the growth rings on these things, it's, it's much like a redwood tree. They'll grow much too fast. You'll have a half an inch to an inch per year of, of growth uh, between the rings. And I can see, I can see a lot of, of white rot down there. That all added to the, the weakness, but if you were to judge this tree by the foliage, you'd say it looks pretty good. Now I'm down underneath the stump of this, and you can see a lot of white rot in the wood right here. But back there you see a lot of deep, dark brown, and that's the discoloration of the, uh, of the wood that shows that this has been decaying for a long time. But once again, when you look at the foliage, no. There's a little bit of evidence of some white strands of mycelium growing on the trunk here, but that would have been buried. People are always asking me, how safe is my tree? I don't know. I really don't know. This tree was very, very bushy for a Douglas fir and it had multiple tops. I'm guessing it may have been topped at one time or possibly developed that way. But the homeowner indicated to me that this tree was cut into a great big V because of the power line. So to some extent, the power company did the, uh, the initial disruptive work on this. And that's part of the reason that it got so bushy. whole area of the center of this trunk right here is showing evidence of wood decay. Here's another interesting observation here. This looks like it is some sort of mushroom that was hidden inside here. It's, it's old and rotted now, but had that erupted and shown itself on the surface, that might have been an indicator that could have alerted somebody to this. I'm always trying to figure out how to predict when a tree is showing signs. And fir trees are kind of an odd one. They, uh, they're not a common tree down in the valley. Um, I, I do see them from time to time, but I couldn't tell you what kind of a fungus this is, but clearly it's an indicator that it was growing off of something like that.